This was not the conclusion Red Bull envisioned for their 2024 Hungarian Grand Prix. From the outset, Max Verstappen's frustration was evident over the team radio. It began when GP Lambiazzi instructed Verstappen to let Lando Norris take P2 on the first lap, setting the tone for a tumultuous race. Verstappen's troubles escalated as he went wide, allowing Oscar Piastri to seize the lead. Subsequently, a minor contact between Norris and Verstappen prompted an investigation by the stewards, forcing the reigning champion champion to relinquish his position to Norris. This decision didn't sit well with Verstappen, whose irritation grew with each lap. The race was peppered with Verstappen's heated radio exchanges, showcasing his impatience and unwillingness to heed instructions. The situation reached a boiling point on lap 63, when a clash with Lewis Hamilton dashed any remaining hopes of a Red Bull victory. Max Verstappen's quest for a podium finish was thwarted not just by on-track drama, but also by a heated exchange with his race engineer, who didn't mince words calling his behaviour childish. It was one of those days where nothing seemed to go right for Verstappen and Red Bull. Frustration was written all over the Dutchman's face as strategy missteps relegated him to fifth place after the final pit stop. You get undercut the first time. Okay, not good. This happens. And then the second time I get stuck behind again? Then you just don't get past it. Then they let me out again and then I drove into traffic with backmarkers after that too. I don't understand it at all really. It's just very bad. The Dutchman continued in what was was a bad day for him and his Red Bull team. Speaking after the race, having felt McLaren was out of reach as it secured a 1-2, and that third place was his optimal result. Verstappen was pressed for a reaction to his critics saying he went too far in the race and disrespected his Red Bull squad over team radio. He replied, They can all F off. I got a lot of S8 thrown at me in Austria with people saying moving under braking blah blah blah. I am positioning my car on the initial movement and then I keep it straight. The wrong strategy calls put me on the back foot where I constantly had to fight people trying to overtake and it didn't work today. With only seven laps left, Max Verstappen tried everything by braking very late at turn one. So late that he had to lock all four wheels to take the turn. With Lewis Hamilton on the inside, the Briton tried to take the turn, blocked by the Red Bull. The Mercedes hit Verstappen's right rear tyre and the wheel engagement caused the Red Bull to take off, fortunately, without causing a rollover or mechanical damage. However, space quickly ran out out, leading to a collision that lifted the back of Verstappen's car off the ground. As the dust settled, Verstappen had dropped two places, missing out on a coveted top three spot as the race neared its conclusion. It was a day of frustrations for Red Bull's star driver at the hunger roaring. Verstappen, who had been vocal about his dissatisfaction with both his car and race strategy, was further agitated by this incident. Earlier in the race, he had been pushed off the track while vying for the lead with Lando Norris and Oscar Piastri, managing to rejoin in second place amidst Norris's protests. Verstappen defended his actions, arguing that he had no choice but to go off track to avoid a collision. However, overtaking outside the circuit's boundaries is against F1 regulations, prompting an investigation by the stewards as Verstappen did not yield the position. Concerned that McLaren might successfully challenge the manoeuvre, Red Bull instructed Verstappen to let Norris pass. Although displeased, Verstappen complied with the team's directive, adding another layer to his already challenging race day. Max Verstappen Verstappen has been called to face the Hungarian Grand Prix stewards following his late race collision with Lewis Hamilton. Lewis Hamilton could only laugh at the performance advantage Max Verstappen displayed over him in specific corners at the hunger roaring. Despite Verstappen's edge, their intense battle culminated in a collision. As the last of the leading trio to make his pit stop, Verstappen rejoined the race, eager to chase down the McLarens. However, he first had to contend with his former title rival, Mercedes's Lewis Hamilton who was resolute in his defence. Hamilton's second pit stop brought a temporary pause to his battle with Verstappen, but it resumed with a vengeance in the final stint. Verstappen, determined to overtake, made a daring move on turn one, resulting in contact that briefly sent his Red Bull airborne after clipping the front right wheel of Hamilton's Mercedes. Ultimately, Verstappen finished in P5, while Hamilton secured a spot on the podium. However, the stewards are now investigating the collision. Hamilton, downplaying the incident, referred to it as a racing incident. When asked about the intensity of the battle with Verstappen, Hamilton responded, It's not nerve-wracking. When you see how quickly they close the gap in certain corners, you just laugh to yourself because it's not something I can match. They were exceptionally strong, especially in the last sector, similar to the McLarens. Hamilton continued, I saw him coming from a long
long way back. He could brake much later than me. He sent it up the inside. I held my line and he clipped the wheel and went over. So, I think it was just a racing incident. Both Red Bull drivers faced significant challenges, but it was Max Verstappen who grabbed the spotlight. As the defending world champion, all eyes were on him. However, the Hungarian GP made one thing abundantly clear. Red Bull is no longer the undisputed leader. McLaren has emerged as the rising star, shaking up the competition. Red Bull had been struggling to match McLaren and Mercedes over the last few weeks, which is why the Milton Keynes-based outfit brought major upgrades to the Hungarian GP. However, it didn't add any performance, and Max Verstappen slammed Red Bull for the same. Red Bull's upgrade package in Hungary featured a new floor, a drastically redesigned side pod, and an engine cover. They reverted to an older spec reportedly because of the Hungaroring's low downforce layout. Regardless, the upgrades did not make any difference on Sunday. Did Christian Horner and his team anticipate that their 2024 season wouldn't be a cakewalk? Given Red Bull's dominance over the past two years, this likely never crossed their minds. How could Adrian Newey's advanced RB20 design falter? Yet, as the season unfolded, Red Bull, particularly Max Verstappen, began to show cracks. It's surprising to see the fastest driver on the grid slip to being the third or fourth fastest in each race. Max Verstappen aimed to change this narrative in Hungary, but it only brought disappointment. As Nick Gibson put it, the second half of the season and we witness the end of Red Bull domination, adding, very difficult now for Verstappen to win another world championship, despite a significant lead over Lando Norris in the driver standings, which suggests Verstappen might still clinch his fourth title. The Hungarian GP highlighted Red Bull's strategic missteps. Slow pit stops and poor tyre management were pivotal errors. Consequently, Verstappen's winless streak has now extended to three races. Sergio Perez once again relived past mistakes, crashing out in Q1 and ending his qualifying session prematurely. The Mexican driver lost control of his Red Bull at Turn 8, struggling with the greasy conditions before smashing into the barriers. With increasing pressure surrounding his future at Red Bull and rumours of his potential removal during the summer break, Perez's performance woes continue to mount. He managed he finished the race at P7, which from Red Bull standards is not good enough. Christian Horner has long warned that Red Bull would begin to be bitten by the law of diminishing returns, given its strong head start under the current technical regulations. In short, we are witnessing a downfall of Red Bull. Will the picture change in Belgium? It's hard to say. Red Bull will undoubtedly dissect their Hungarian Grand Prix debacle to pinpoint their mistakes. As for Verstappen, it seems Mad Max is making a comeback. How will he handle the criticism, and when will he secure his next victory? The hunger roaring has turned into a nightmare for the team and their star driver. Let us know your thoughts in the comments about the race. Until next time, goodbye for now.